Hi everyone. This week, Thanksgiving is coming up, and I want to talk specifically to those of you who are on the precipice of big change in your life, and maybe going home for Thanksgiving feels triggering. Maybe it feels a little bit like ground zero for self-doubt, shame, anxiety, resentment, um, and all of that just, ugh, it kills your positivity, takes the wind out of your sails, kills your productivity. Um, and I don't want that for you. And I know what that feels like. And I think probably a lot of entrepreneurs or people who <laughs> know what it is to be mid self reinventing process and home for the holidays, probably a lot of people that have been there know what that feels like. Um, so um, you've heard me talk about alignment before. So alignment means walking into a situation with full faith and trust in yourself, your scene partner, and the simple agile creative process. Um, Thanksgiving is not any different than that. So the reason that it's so important to walk into Thanksgiving in total alignment has less to do with being respectful to Uncle Frank and a lot more to do with taking care of yourself and realizing that you are on the right path. You don't need validation from anybody else. You're on your right path. You are shining your light. And this is about self-care. Okay, so we're going to let go. We are not going to bring a cathedral to Thanksgiving. In improv, we always say you bring a brick, not a cathedral. A cathedral is everything you think you know already beyond your initial offering. So what this might sound like, Thanksgiving cathedrals, my family is judging me. My, my career is not good enough. Um, here's the thing. It's a cathedral. You don't know that. You do not know for sure that that is what they're thinking. Um, it is my personal experience that um, when I'm sharing about a few years ago when I was first starting to do improv workshops um, and I was sharing about that a little bit. I mean, hello, when I was first telling my family, yes, I left a normal nine to five job and I'm an improviser now. Can we talk about <laughs> um, the blank looks on people's faces of like, what exactly is that? Um, so believe me when I say that I have been there. Um, but the thing is, it's my personal experience that when you stay in that creative headspace and you don't allow yourself to believe my scene partner is looking for ways to embarrass me, to prove that I'm wrong, to, you know, judge me or whatever. Don't believe that about your scene partner. Trust that your scene partner is not doing that. Trust that your scene partner is looking for ways to build with you. Believe in the highest possible intention, right? Um, because for all you know, the looks on their faces are saying, man, I wish that I was brave enough to do that. Or, oh my goodness, I didn't know that, um, that that even existed. I wonder, you know, that sounds like more fun than what I do from nine to five. For all you know, your willingness to invest in yourself, to, you know, believe that something else is possible. Maybe if you're telling them about, you know, you're investing in a new business, you're investing in a coach, you're investing in um, a new program, you're investing in yourself in some way that feels scary. For all you know, your willingness to put your eggs in the basket of possibility is very inspiring to them. Maybe they've never known someone to do that before. Um, maybe they've always wished that they had the courage to leave their job. Believe that a rising tide lifts all boats. Believe that your willingness to step out in faith and pursue your journey because you know in your bones it's the right thing to do. Believe that that is something that can attract goodness, that that can attract hope and peace and freedom, and that that's not necessarily something that's going to make your family judge you. People's faces don't always match their insides. <laughs> Um, so just remember that have faith in yourself. You don't need validation. Have faith in your scene partner. You don't know what they're thinking. Have faith that that process of yes. And that offstage process of looking for ways to build something that's good, even if it's not easy, that is enough to create something beautiful that you can trust that simple process. You don't need, um, to quick, you know, uh, create something super impressive before Thanksgiving. I, I was reading a blog um, earlier in the week where this woman was encouraging entrepreneurs to quickly self-publish a book before Thanksgiving so they could tell their families who didn't understand what they were doing, oh, I'm a published author. Um, my thing is you do not need to perform for your family. You don't need to do that. You are already enough. Trust their intentions trust the process. You're doing the right things. You're on the right path. 
take a deep breath, and enjoy your turkey. All right. Bye, guys.